everyone doing? I'm back here again for another video, and in this video I'm doing a new first time watch video. A little over a week ago I asked you guys to pick between four movies, and whatever movie got the most votes was the movie I was going to watch for my next first time watch video. And uh, the movie that you guys picked the most of was Death Valley. Um, and uh, yeah, I just finished watching it, so I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. Now, like I do in these videos, I'm not going to give a full review of the movie, but I am going to talk about what I enjoyed about it and, you know, stuff like that. Um, now, I actually first heard about this movie years ago, and I always wanted to see it because I thought it was so cool that there was a horror movie that starred uh, Peter Billingsley, who is most known for playing Ralphie in A Christmas Story. And uh, I always just thought that was cool. I wanted to see him in a in a horror movie, and I've always wanted to check the movie out because of that. And it turns out that this is actually his first movie, um, which I thought was really cool. You know, it said introducing Peter Billingsley, and I was like, wow, I didn't know this was the first movie that he did. Um, and he did a really, really great job in this one. Um, I can understand why he ended up playing Ralphie in A Christmas Story, because he's a really, really great actor, and it really shows in this one. Um, but basically, um, uh, his name is his name is Billy in the movie, and um, the movie starts with him in New York with his father, and he finds out that his father and his mom are divorced, and um, his mom's boyfriend, played by Paula Matt, wants to take him to Death Valley, take her, um, him and his mother, uh, his mother's played by Catherine Hicks, um, he wants to take them to Death Valley as kind of like a vacation, just to kind of, you know, get to know Billy a little bit, and just to, you know, take his mom, you know, he, um, you know, take him and his mom onto, uh, this vacation, uh, just as a way of trying to, trying to get, get to know Billy, and you automatically know that Billy just, you know, he doesn't want to leave his dad, he doesn't want to leave New York, and he doesn't like Paul, uh, Lamas character, um, because, you know, what, what kid likes the guy that, uh, his mom is starting to date after, um, you know, his, his parents got a divorce, you know, it, it always happens. Um, you know, I think a lot with young kids, because they just don't understand it. Um, but, you know, um, you kind of feel bad for Paul and Matt's character, because he keeps trying his best to do things for Billy, like when they, when he takes them, uh, they, they stop at a, uh, it's kind of like a setup of like an old western type, uh, place where they're going to, and, um, at one point he, he tries to give him a, a little toy gun, and he talks about it was used by Billy the Kid, and, um, Ralphie, like, or not Ralphie, Bill, I'm calling him Ralphie from A Christmas Story, uh, Billy knows about Billy the Kid, and he corrects him on a story, and you can tell that Paul and Matt's character is just kind of like, you know, I, I just wanted to give you this gun, I thought it would be, you know, this toy gun, you know, as a way of trying to bond with him, trying to get to know him, and he kind of shuts him down, because, you know, Billy knows more about Billy the Kid than, um, uh, Paul and Matt's character does, whose name I, I keep forgetting, uh, Mike, that's his name, um, but, uh, you know, you kind of feel sorry for him, uh, you know, th throughout the first part of the movie, because he's trying his best to get on, you know, to be friends with, uh, Billy and everything, and, um, as the movie goes on, uh, Billy ends up, um, coming across this RV, and it turns out there were pe people that were murdered there, um, and, uh, you know, since he's kind of sort of the witness of, um, you know, he doesn't witness any of the bodies or anything, but he does find a little, um, necklace that has, like, a something on it. I, I forget exactly what it is, but he finds a necklace that's, that belongs to one of the killers, and, um, the, the killers find out about it, uh, and they, uh, end up going after him, and, uh, you know, the whole movie is just, you know, Billy, his mom, and, and, uh, Paul and Matt's character, Mike, just trying to escape, um, this killer that's on the loose, or the, or these killers, you don't really know, you don't really know at the beginning of the movie, uh, you know, who exactly it is, um, but, yeah, as the movie goes on, things do get pretty suspenseful, I thought this movie was, uh, has some pretty good suspenseful moments, um, I thought it was very well acted throughout, especially, uh, for Peter Billingsley, like I said, this is his first movie, so, you know, he was, uh, very impressive, uh, for his age, being in a movie like this, um, like I said, very, um, you know, very, uh, suspenseful moments, um, uh, you know, well acted throughout, 
I was on the edge of my seat at some points in, uh, during the movie, which doesn't really happen very often anymore. You know, when you see so many movies, you know, some movies don't really, uh, you know, they always say, this movie will put you on the edge of your seat. And, uh, you know, a lot of movies don't do that for me, but this one did. Um, the music was great, too. The music was very suspenseful. Um, overall, this was just a really good, really solid uh, horror movie, and I'm really, really glad that you guys uh, picked this one out for me to watch because I really, really did enjoy it. It also seemed a lot longer than, than uh, it is. It's only about, what is it, 82 minutes? 87 minutes. It seemed longer. Um, it really felt like a longer movie, but that was a good thing because you got really, you get really into the story and you don't want the movie to end. And I didn't want uh, this movie to end. I really did enjoy it, and um, I definitely recommend it for anyone who loves 80 horror movies, 80 slashers. Um, you know, like I said, everything was great, but there's also some good gore in it as well. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you've seen Death Valley, let me know down below what you guys think about the movie. And thanks to all of you guys for um, recommending this movie, because I really did enjoy it. And um, I'm looking forward to checking out the other movies uh, that uh, you guys also recommend me to watch for my first time watch videos. I want to get this, I want to get back into doing these type of videos and watching movies for the first time. Um, you know, because there's a lot of movies in my collection that I still have not watched. So I do plan on doing more of these. And I do plan on also asking you guys for recommendations when it comes to movies like this. So I will, I might do another uh, video, you know, getting four other films or, you know, whatever, and asking you guys what movies you guys think I should watch. So thanks for watching. Like I said, let me know down below what you guys think about Dead Valley if you've seen the movie. And also thanks to everybody who gave me advice on what I should do about my camera. Um, some people have made suggestions that, you know, once I get a, I should just use my cell phone for it. I don't have, I don't own a cell phone yet, but once I get one, um, I might actually see what kind of, you know, video it could take.